Hi friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Liz and I am so happy that you're here because today we are going to be going through my activewear collection and I'll be sharing my very favorite workout shorts with you guys. I post a lot of activewear reviews, bikini reviews, just trying to help women find things that they can feel comfortable and confident in. If you like that sort of thing, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll also have where you can find me on my other social media platforms if you want to follow me over there. So as you can imagine, I have accumulated quite a large activewear collection. And I do love working out in shorts. Honestly, my biggest problem with working out in shorts is feeling like I need to shave my legs before I wear them. But shorts don't always love me. I do have some thicker thighs. I compete in powerlifting for those who don't know. So finding shorts that stay put through your workout is important. And these are the shorts that I have found stand the test of time. I'll try to link them all down below. Some of them might be from a couple of years ago though. So I'll link things similar. Like they might not have the same patterns or colors, but I'll, I'll link where I got them down below for you guys. And I understand that not everybody prefers to work out in shorts. Um, if you'd like to see this sort of video with my legging collection or sports bra collection, let me know down in the comments what you prefer to work out in. I've also reviewed some of these shorts before in other videos, but never in like one compiled video. But this way you don't have to go through and watch all those individual videos just to see what I think of a pair of shorts. And there will be some shorts that I have not talked about on here before, I think. I don't really remember. The first and most obvious brand, I think, is Gymshark. These are their training shorts. These are the only shorts I own from Gymshark, and I freaking love these. I think they're so flattering, and I don't think I've ever had to pull these down throughout a workout. I got these in a size medium. Look at that, and there's no front seam. I know there are some people out there who do not like front seams. I'm not one of them. I've never really had a problem with them, but just something to note. These stay put so well. I love where they come up to me. The back of it has a little bit of V right there, so they're super flattering. I wanna get them in more colors, but I think they're sold out right now, but I'm not sure. The next brand is going to be Till You Collapse, and I actually got these blue ones first. There's a little bit of pilling going on, but I think it's mostly just noticeable because it's such a light color, and I don't always wash my activewear the way they recommend you to. I'm a size large in these and I just find these to be so flattering. I also have them in this other color and this color has not pilled at all and I wear these a lot. These are their Resilient Classic shorts. This brand is a little bit more expensive but they always have stuff on sale. Warning though, if you do get their stuff on sale, you can't return it. A little bit longer, nice high waist. It's a seamless waistband too. They do bunch up a little bit right here but I love them. I think they fit me so well and they have so many colors, so many patterns on their website. Next we have Fleo, which specializes in workout shorts. They have the most fun and unique patterns. Like look at this snake pattern. These are just a few of the ones I have. I have like five or six pairs of their shorts. And my favorite ones from them are their power high rise ones. And I'm a medium in their shorts. They, they do have some lower cut ones that I have. They also have some more like subtle colors and patterns. If you don't wanna be like a bam, look at my shorts. They are a little bit more pricey, but the quality is amazing. Such fun shorts, oh my goodness. These are some like short shorts and they have some that are even shorter than these if that's what you're looking for. I don't know, I have some days where I do want to wear short shorts and then some days where I'd rather wear some longer ones or biker shorts or some high-waisted, you know, we all have those days. Next we have Alpha Pack Fitness and my favorite from them are their impulse shorts. They're nice high-waisted with like a longer inseam. I'm a size medium in their shorts. They have a cute little booty contour seam that goes up and over. I also have these in black, but I think they're in the wash right now because I literally wear them all the time. And I have a discount code for these guys. It is strong Liz if you want to shop anything at Alpha Pack. All right, these are more of a compressive fit. They're kind of like a slicker, like that tights material. And the seam here. I love that seam, it's so flattering. These stay put throughout my workout, like no matter what I'm doing. I wear these a lot for deadlifts. And I think this purple color is so fun. I think I got these when I had the matching hair. If you're looking for biker shorts, look no further than Colorful Koala. 
I rave about this brand in a lot of my other videos. I just think their quality is amazing. They're also really affordable. Like I said, with big thighs, sometimes it can be hard to find biker shorts that aren't squeezing your legs like sausages. I have a medium in this brand and they have pockets. These are like my go-to hiking shorts because you know, there's no chub rub when you wear biker shorts. The pocket for like my phone. If you've seen my other videos reviewing colorful quality, you know I cannot say enough good things about their stuff. I have not found a pair of biker shorts that I like more than these. I actually hardly have any other biker shorts in my collection just because it's hard to find ones that I think are flattering and cute on me and also comfortable, you know, like don't dig into my thighs. Everything from Colorful Koala, not true. The patterned stuff from Colorful Koala because they're two different fabrics. Every patterned thing from Colorful Koala, I'm gonna recommend. They're a nice high-waisted, seamless waistband. Those pockets on each side, yes. These are their brushed camo print, which is a very subtle camo print for those who don't want to be like all in your face with your patterned leggings. Let me know down in the comments if you are a pattern person, a bold color person, or want to be more neutral with your leggings. I clearly can't decide and I just like having all of it. The next brand I'm gonna talk about is A7 Strongwear, and they are more of a powerlifting, strongman sort of brand, um, but I love their workout shorts. They're such high quality, and their customer service is amazing. These shorts have probably been in my collection the longest of any of the shorts I'm talking about, and I still wear them all the time. They've held up so well. I also don't think they have these on their website right now, but I did wanna mention them just because I love them so much. They have leggings right now. They just came out with some new colors but definitely check them out if you're into powerlifting, weightlifting, and you haven't heard of them before. They're such a cool brand. Okay, this color is so pretty. I love that marl pink color. These are some shorter shorts, but these generally stay put. I mean, they might ride up a little bit, bunch up a little bit, but most short shorts do that anyway. And the material is just, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. It's a very durable material. Like, I know I say like quality material. It feels like such good quality. No, these are like, durable. And now I know not everybody wants to wear spandex tight fitting shorts to the gym. So I decided to include some looser fitting shorts as well. And these are the Napoa gym ones. I also think they sell them at Walmart. Um, I don't know. They've been floating around a lot. These are so affordable and so cute. I got these in an extra large actually. There's no built in liner for these, but they do just have like a thick waistband with a little draw cord thing. And then the bottom of them is mesh. You can see that. They have pockets too. So comfortable, so cute. Um, these don't bunch up on me, but again, I did like size up twice. This is also a very stretchy material. Back when I was a PE teacher, I could have worn these. I didn't have these back when I was teaching PE. I wish I would have. And you don't have to wear them as high-waisted as I'm wearing them. You can wear them down a little bit, so. Another pair of loose fitting shorts I love are from Patula. They are a more expensive brand, I think, but these are the Maribel relaxer shorts. I actually got these as a gift for Christmas and I love them so much. They're not an athletic material. They're more of like a cottony, it's like a stretchy cottony. Let me see, what is it exactly? Polyester cotton spandex short. But these are so comfortable. They have a thick elastic, no built-in liner in these either. They do have pockets as well. And I find myself reaching for these so much. So these don't have a cinch here at the top, so I'm not able to like force them into being high-waisted. They kind of sit a little bit lower than my belly button. And these do go a little bit high up on the side, but I like them. I think they're so comfortable, so flattering. You definitely could go work out in these but they're a very stretchy material and perfect for just chilling. There you have it. Those are my favorite workout shorts in my collection. If you share any of the same favorites as me, let me know down in the comments. Or if there are some that I did not mention that are your favorites, let me know down in the comments. I want to know about them. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll have some other videos here on the screen for you and I'll see you later.